We are glad to have Joyce Bailey here with North Carolina Coastal Concierge. Thank you for being a part of this show today. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about your company, North Carolina Coastal Concierge. Okay. Well, I've been in business for almost four years. And what we provide is a wide variety of uh, services to homeowners. Um, my clients basically fall into two categories, folks that have property here at the beach and don't live here, mm -hmm. or they live here and just need a helping hand from time to time. And we provide services, everything from house cleaning to pet sitting to checking on homes to help with entertaining just pretty much any need that a customer would have, we can take care of. Okay, and why did you wanna go into this business? Well, I have a pretty extensive background in sales, marketing, and customer service, and when I retired from Johnson & Johnson, I wanted to do something that would let me use those skills. I have several friends with concierge businesses in other parts of the country, and I did a lot of research in this area and very quickly discovered that no one was providing those services. So I decided to start it here, and it has become extremely popular. And tell us a little bit more, a little bit more about the services, just a little bit more in depth about the services that you can provide your okay. clients. Okay. Okay. Um, as I said, uh, my customers fall into a couple of categories. Right. For folks who have property here that don't live here. What I generally do is, is really take care of their home when they're not here. We check on things, especially in the off season when they're not here as often, to make sure they don't have any surprises going on. Okay. We take care of cleaning, any maintenance that needs to be done on their home. Um, we can do grocery shopping for them when they're coming down. Pretty much anything that they need related to their home. Okay. Um, on the other hand, folks that live here, uh, we do everything from, as a matter of fact, I'm planning a 40th wedding anniversary party. Uh, I, I coordinated a uh, rehearsal dinner for some folks in Ocean Ridge Plantation. Uh, we clean, we pet sit, really any need that they have, we can help them take care of. Um, on Friday, I'm taking folks to the airport, picking up other right. folks, oh. coming home. So we can do pretty much anything that they need. Any helping hand, we can provide. Now, if a client was interested in mm -hmm. using your business, how would they contact you? Do you have a website? Yes, we have a website. Okay. Um, it's NorthCarolinaCoastalConcierge.com, okay. and on that site, they'll find comprehensive information. But I will say that if they have a need that they don't see listed, that doesn't mean we don't right. do it. So they can call me directly. My number is 919-602-7111, and they will get me directly, and we can talk about what their needs are and how we can help them. Okay. How's your pricing structure as far as what you charge? That's a great question. We charge um, uh, basically by the hour. Uh, some of our services, for example, we offer storm protection. So if a storm is coming, we'll go to someone's home and take their furniture in, and that's a fee for the season. They'll pay a fee no matter how many storms we have, whether we have one or 20. They'll pay a fee for the hurricane season, and we'll take care of that. Our cleaning is a separate fee as well, and that's an hourly rate. And then what our patient, oh, patients, what our clients usually do is they'll buy uh, bundles of hours of our time, and then they use them whenever they need them. The more they buy, the less the hourly rate is. And then we just keep track of, of what they use, and they never expire, so there's they have them forever and they use them as they need them. Okay. Do you complete your services in Sunset Beach, Ocean Isle, all of Brunswick County? Talk about that just a little bit. Um, the bulk of my customers are in the Holden Beach, Ocean Isle Beach, and Sunset Beach okay. area. Um, on the islands in particular, mm -hmm. but then we have a lot of clients in Ocean Ridge Plantation, Sea Trail, and the surrounding areas. Okay. Do you have any plans of um, expanding your business further out, or are you pretty content to stay in this area? Well, I, we want to stay small because we deliver a level of service that I want to maintain. And I worry that if we get too large, I'll lose some of that control. So we intentionally are small. We've had some requests to expand in the Wilmington area. However, there are several services already in Wilmington. Right. And um, it's just a little too far for me to feel comfortable that we would keep that level of service up. So we're really trying to keep it small so that we can deliver a very high level of service. Do 
do you have several people that work for you or is it just you? I do. I do have several people. Um, I have a couple of ladies that work for me pretty regularly and then I have some others that work for me on an as needed basis. The beauty of the folks that work for me is they're all like myself, older, mm -hmm. retired, um, and really, really care about what they're doing and, and they will deliver the quality that, that we've set forth. Okay. Is there anything we haven't asked you that maybe we're missing that you want to say, uh, talk about? Um, one of the nicest things about my business is once people start using our services, they really had no idea how much they needed us and how much uh, peace of mind we provide, especially for those folks who don't live here. Mm -hmm. And so having us as their point of contact and their guardian angel looking out for things mm -hmm. for them has really been um, a, a lot of the positive feedback that we get. Leaves them with a good experience with Absolutely. our area. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Are there any other resources that you utilize in the community that help you with your business? Absolutely, and I think the biggest contributor to a lot of our success has been the Chamber. Um, I know when I was getting started, uh, the Chamber was one of the first places I came to, and I got such incredible support. Not only do I get a lot of referrals from the Chamber, mm -hmm. people call the Chamber looking for various and sundry services, so I've gotten many referrals. Mm -hmm. But there's a whole host of business seminars that I take advantage of. There are so many wonderful resources available through the Chamber that can really help not only new businesses, but established businesses. And I think taking advantage of all those resources available to me really contributed to our success. And I will continue to do it in the future. Well, thank you, Joyce, so yeah. much for being here. My pleasure. Thank, thank, you. thank you for having me. Thank you.